good evening everyone i'm sorry for the delayed start and welcome to this session today wisdom for living series but before we start the session the only introduction that i'll give today of the theosophical society is through a universal invocation that was coined that was worded by dr any besant in 1923 when she was requested to do so by the members of the theosophical society that what invocation do we do before starting any such event or gathering in which we request the higher powers or energies to lead us from unreal to real from darkness to light and from death to immortality and you may remain seated you may keep your eyes closed or repeat it mentally or verbally after me and feel each word resonate within you to see with how much wisdom it contains o hidden life vibrant in every atom o hidden light shining in every creature o hidden love embracing all in oneness may all who feel themselves as one with thee know they are therefore one with every other thank you once again and good evening and it is my immense pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of the theosophical society today which is the fifth session of the wisdom for living series talks organized by the theosophical society in which we try to have the speakers from a spectrum of human activities because normally wisdom is mostly subconsciously related to spirituality but therefore we create fragments in our life that my spiritual life is this compartment my business life is this compartment my personal life my social life my political life and we create compartments forgetting that consciousness is one we cannot create fragments in our consciousness so we have speakers from the field of business arts fitness ecology science and spirituality not just any speakers but those who have found ways to apply spiritual principles to their work and living which is what theosophical society always emphasize that more than mere intellectual or academic study of any scriptures which can make us very erudite scholar but only when it is lived when it permeates all the aspect of our daily life it turns into the philosopher's stone of wisdom and this way of living using this spiritual sciences or wisdom wisdom into our daily life is not only desirable but utterly necessary in contemporary times where the self centered way of living which is based on intellectuality thinking of only self concern has led to the situation of so many not only individual challenges but the challenges which threaten the existence of our very planet on the other hand wisdom inspires us to be inclusive integrated and holistic which is the purpose of these talks 
wisdom for living to create an awareness in our minds and to whoever we come in contact with that we are not only we all are not only interconnected but are essentially one which was the essence of the invocation that we did in the beginning we have had talks on spiritual ideals spiritual filters spiritual science ecology and those who have missed those talks before they are all of them are available on the youtube channel by the name of theosophical society adr so if you want to view those talks you can always go on our channel subscribe it if you like and share with others that would be a great help for humanity as well but today's subject is rather not along those lines that i have just shared with you it is but at the same time it is one of the most important aspects of life because when people are thinking about spiritual life they concentrate so much on a, on a spirit that sometimes they forget to take care of the body and body this physical body is one of the most important vehicles of our consciousness without which we will not be able to operate in this world and just like any machine this body is also a machine which requires regular maintenance and proper upkeep for maximum or optimum output but many a times due to lack of correct information about the upkeep and maintenance this machine gets rusty and the discomfort sets in and instead of becoming a fit vehicle for us to work it starts creating obstacles in the work that we want to do and one of such problems is the orthopedic problem and today we are going to talk on the very same subject how to prevent orthopedic problems and to deliver this talk i would not say talk to share rather to share with us his experiences his wisdom his practical knowledge and many other things we have dr v balaji shrinivasan with us and it is my immense pleasure to welcome him on behalf of theosophical society for today's session and while reading his uh, bio data when i re received i came across a very uh, interesting term which i had never heard before which i will also share with you and i guess you might have not heard also before because he is the only person who holds that uh, i would say status in india he is of course an mbbs doctor an ms ortho and msc orthopedic engineering he has done his msc in orthopedic engineering which i thought biology and engineering are two separate things but we seem to be going towards you know centralized way of thinking from uk he has done his mch ortho in uk and he is senior consultant orthopedic surgeon at apollo hospitals and more has more than 35 years of orthopedic experience and not only an orthopedic surgeon but also the only orthopedic engineer in india is all the more reason to listen to him and apart from apollo this is something which gives us a very uh, first you know the glimpse of his character that why is it important to listen to him is he does all the latest orthopedic surgeries apart from apollo including joint replacement and keyhole surgeries for poor in a charity hospital in mamblam 
He has published many international papers in orthopedics and he has trained many orthopedic surgeons as a teacher. And above all, most importantly, he believes the prevention is better than cure. He has given weekly TV talks for eight years continuously on how to prevent orthopedic issues for anyone of any age. We think probably that uh, these uh, things affect us only when we go, you know, in old age after 60 or 70. But today we will come to know many more things from him about the position, postures and in all the things. And all these videos of his, the talks that he gave on television are available on YouTube. The channel's name I think is called Mangayar Ulagam. And he also has an extra academic social interest in preserving Indian heritage and runs a trust for that purpose. And with these words, I would like to, it is my immense pleasure to invite Dr. V. Balaji Srinivasanji on the mic and please share with us your thoughts on this subject. Dr. V. Balaji. Good afternoon. Namaskar. <coughs> Orthopedics means we all think it's a problem with uh, elderly people as you grow old, as you rightly said. But the truth is you can prevent orthopedic problems even before a child is born. So that is exactly what I am here to talk. So that we know how to prevent and prevention is far better. We will start age wise. 80 to 100. The biggest problems that I see or we all see as orthopedic surgeons is many a time we see people in the elderly groups. Uh, elderly means I mean about 80, roughly I'm saying 80 to 100. They get up early in the morning, want to pass urine, slightly feel giddy, go to the toilet, fall down. Two things happen. They break their hip bones or the wrist bones in orthopedics or they have a head injury. Now both are real big problems. Single biggest advice I give to all my patients is in the closet, next to the closet, put a small handrail which is hardly 50 rupees. You have, if possible, the bathroom allows put both sides so the elders don't fall. Prevention is absolutely essential. If this simple step is done, most of the orthopedic fractures can be prevented in this elderly group. Fortunately, some people realize and then they start putting it and then we see railings not only in the bathroom but it's also in the living rooms and everywhere. But it's a nice way to prevent it. Because if suppose you have a fall, an elderly person living at home or living in an elderly residential home, all the more the problem is they won't even know that he has had a fall, he or she. And then for a day or two they suffer in pain and agonizingly painful. If I break my little finger now at this age, it will be painful. If I break my hip, it is more painful. An elderly 80, 90 year old person, he or she cannot take that pain. So it is a very big problem. So first thing is prevention. Suppose in case it has happened, just in, in the same lines I can tell you, nowadays orthopedics has advanced so much that if someone has fallen, even at the age of 100, age is not a problem. Most of these fractures, almost 99.9% .9 of these fractures can be operated under regional anesthesia, no need for general anesthesia, back injections, spinal, none of those things are over, it's always over. And can, as soon as the patient comes to the emergency, they can, they can give, a, they give a nerve block so that they don't have the pain. They are operated the next day and most of them can be made to walk. And the earlier you make the 90 year old person walk, the, be the better chance is this he or she gets back to the early life. So if at all it happens, that is the thing. But prevention is still number one. The next one, the flooring. Flooring is one of the biggest problems. If the, f especially again in the same scenario of a 90 year old, a 100 year old person going to the bathroom, there is some slight water there, he or she slips and falls. They don't have the grip and stability that we all have in our age. So, anti-grip tiles, anything rough floorings, very, very, very important. That's very, these two things can prevent. And the next thing is sunlight. Sunlight is one thing, it not only freshens us up, Suppose I am locked in a room, dingy room for two days without seeing sunlight, it will be so dull. And the moment I come out and see the sunlight, that makes me bright. That is not only that. So, in any elderly person's room, make sure there is a window and some sunlight comes. Even if they are bedridden, it helps. Because it helps in the turnover of vitamin D and that is one of the easiest things you can do. 
the next one please we will just slightly come to the lesser age 60 to 80 many a times i we see in the practice i see five year old children being given calcium tablet they say sir can it be calcium can't it be given isn't it good for bones i see women after crossing the menopause routinely being given calcium for daily the biggest single advice is if you take calcium when your bone calcium body's calcium is normal it will not make you a superhuman you will end up with a kidney stones kidney doctor consult if the calcium is low then these things work but the single biggest prevention to get good calcium is milk two glasses of milk two glass of milk and if they walk for half an hour to 45 minutes in the sunshine for any age group whether male female any age group it's the, one of the best things that can happen rather than popping calcium tablets incidentally since i'm coming to this topic i'll just tell you we see a lot of people coming with the way see as the technology improves you get more and more scans which scare you actually and then you see that there will be report the risk of fracture people read it next moment they put it in a google that says you're going to fall then you imagine you're going to have a fall that many of these scans you don't even need them if you do the basic prevention okay i've seen that people whenever we operate many times we operate in 90s and under routinely we operate people who have been good walkers who have been walking a lot right from young age their muscles are fantastic you won't feel like cutting and going in that sort of muscle strength happens so try to avoid this tv remote tv remote for remote I'm, apart from that try to make an attempt to walk every small thing whatever is possible a 90 year old can walk for 100 meter doesn't matter a 60 year old can walk for half a kilometer doesn't matter a 20 year old can walk for 3 km walking is the single biggest and walking and milk there are a lot of supplements for all these things but milk standard is good enough the next one please walking there's nothing to beat like walking people ask me many a times sir i can't walk it's not safe can i use treadmill treadmill is if you use on a slow speed treadmill doesn't cause much problems but if you put an increased speed on a slow or in an incline the resistance is like a concrete it's like jumping on a concrete all the time so what happens is people develop in the knee in the front of the knee is called a petal as a kneecap that arthritis sets in very fast so if i want to have a guaranteed knee pain i can walk in treadmill in an incline in six months i'll get guaranteed knee pain so best is to walk if you can't walk on the road walk on the terrace walk wherever it is walk people ask me sir should we do fast walking jogging that's all only for the films just walk 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 half an hour 45 minutes more than enough walking an uneven surface is difficult sometimes for rehabilitation for after orthopedic patients we tell them to walk on sand take them to the beach and walk but that's not the routine so prevention you want to prevent orthopedic problems please walk you don't need to run jog all those things are not needed this can these things can be actually practiced by all of us prevention is actually a way of life it is a discipline it's not just one day solution i've seen people saying i started going to the gym exercise three days no no i no, i'll go three days a month no see it's a way of life you do it you prevent coming to an orthopedic surgeon next one in this age group 40 to 60 the biggest problem is weight for you to understand a simple see suppose i am 80 kilos when i stand with both feet down on the ground you expect 40 kilos weight to go on the right side and 40 kilos weight to go on the left side now imagine i'm walking i lift one leg and i have to walk so right when you take a step you imagine that you uh, believe that logically it is 80 kilograms weight coming into the body but if you see the physics professor he knows it the biomechanics is eight times the body weight for every joint that means if i'm 80 if i take my foot to walk it is 80 into 8 640 kilograms force pounds into my hip and knee now if i become 81 it is 648 kilograms it's eight times so the same way, even if i reduce it by one kilo 80 becomes 79 i reduce eight kilograms force insult to my hip or knee or ankle every step i take so one kilo every kilo matters many times people ask me how to reduce body weight three or four simple things one is diet i'll come to diet when it comes to second is walking is absolutely essential third we have seen people who sleep in the afternoon they are not able to lose weight english medicine doesn't understand western literature doesn't understand but it's an observation so weight 
we see a lot of ads where people are seen obese and the next picture they show people are very lean by various treatment procedures but they all have a lot of side effects the side effects are not shown in those advertisements so reducing the weight by 1 kilo when you start anything dieting exercise some discipline in life first three forms will be frustrating you won't see even 1 kilo weight coming down a lot of people lose heart in that but don't lose heart just continue after four five months you will see that one one kilo it starts coming down and that remains it doesn't bounce back the ads that you see many times heavy people to lean people if you see the other side when the weight body weight come down so fast they end up with other stones like gall stone gall bladder stone lot of other medical issues come and then they rebound this way doesn't rebound so this is discipline this is where you get better nutrition a lot of people ask me what is the safest diet some people say me sir i don't eat south indian food some people say i don't eat roti i don't eat this general principles are simple whatever is available in your place please make the best use of it go more for green vegetables and fruits less of oil suppose it's a festival function aram se khao eat everything what you want that doesn't matter but be disciplined the lot i've seen a lot of people saying i starve at one uh, morning and then i eat extra and then that doesn't works eat in the periodical time but don't snack in between people have the habit of eating some ground nuts and chips and this don't do that if you do that most of the times weight slowly comes down then the dietary preferences are different from different people and for normal people these are the basic schemes that we work on 20 40 years you want to prevent orthopedic thing single bigger thing is two wheelers whenever they see jump a signal and they go they feel they are real heroes and we feel sorry for them that one day or other they will fall down it's a big problem not only for them and we seen disastrous lives once they fall so two wheelers without helmets criss crossing a very big problem that's what we see many a times and then the other big problem in two wheelers is posture we see all these fancy bikes where they stoop and drive long term they end up in back pain so prevent that posture is very very important many people ask me what is the best chair the gentleman the elder gentleman sits say that's the best chair possible a school headmaster's chair straight back straight feet armrest and if they have a footrest that's unbeatable for any age that's the best the worst fly, the worst seats are the long the long distance flight seats you fly from uh, chennai to usa you will guarantee you have back pain because those seats are lousy in almost all airlines because they are fashionable these are chairs the best next posture people ask me sitting straight for some unless you are used to sitting straight unless you develop the core muscles you cannot sit straight you will all have just slouch so learn to develop the core muscles easiest way to develop core muscle for a youngster is sit ups just sit ups 20 30 times the front and back develop so well posture becomes easy the reason i put this slide is many a times gym a common question people ask me is sir i went to i see lot of these people two common people in the youngster in the 20 to 40 we see one is computer people related to it jobs they work for long hours 12 14 hours they slog and then at 35 40 years many of them we operate for the back issues which is entirely preventable second is this gym all of us want to be healthy when you go to a gym or any physical uh, institute which helps you in develop physics there are three possible things first you should know what why you are going to that place gym one is you want to look uh, muscular like many of the actors you see big muscle bulk those people they don't have endurance you ask them to run for 1 km they cannot run the muscle bulk will be there the look will be there that's a different part second is uh, people like uh, let us say bruce lee if you see a person like bruce lee you won't be uh, enamored by his uh, bulk but his endurance is phenomenal he can run like anything he can do anything he can stand for long hours he can do anything for long hours that endurance comes that's a different set of exercises third is an entirely different thing where stretching exercises where something like yoga wherever is there the person look absolutely flabby but the advantage there is that person will not have any of the common western ailments asthma hypertension diabetes acidity none of those thing will be there he will be very healthy but he won't look uh, he will not have the endurance he will not look like muscular man so when you go to a gym i tell them please first choose what you want i have seen lot of people saying i am doing power yoga i mean i'm not saying anything against that please but for you to understand yoga is something where you stretch power is something where you improve muscles how can they both combine together so a lot of things are being 
a lot of uh, marketing stuff goes on and so people don't know what they want but the more important thing is they go i'll say i go for gym twice a week sir then they come back with some back pain stretching pulling muscles ruptures this that and we unnecessarily operate so if at all you go to a gym first choose what among the three what do you want next be spe- spe- every day go there is nothing like i will go only once a week once a month nothing just go daily make it and then go supervised until you learn the techniques by yourself when you time we see a, a lot of orthopedic problems are preventable so i see a lot of people doing upper limb exercises whenever you do overdo any particular part of the body it reacts the other way around it produces more uh, damage more degeneration and they come to us for surgery which is preventable the primary idea was him to go to gym was to be healthy and not to come to an orthopedic surgeon so these things are very important next one please travel nowadays we see lot of youngsters in the 18 20 years going for the various engineering colleges and this and all that go by college bus which is outskirts of the city 30 35 hour minutes uh, 30 20 25 km 30 35 minutes at least up and down 1 hour 2 hour they all develop back pain so it's very it's not practical to say don't go to the college not possible but make sure you sit straight you don't get stuck to a seat in poor posture seeing the computer all the time or laptop all the time very very important posture in youngsters if you want to avoid orthopedic issues this i told you the next one <coughs> children this is a, all of us when we were kids i mean in your generation you must have been playing a lot we were allowed to play now you don't have place to play S- the second thing is uh, that's one thing so the children are not tuned to playing outside when you play a team spirit like this you know how to help each other the team spirit comes winning and losing you take it just like that because so many people you have lost as a team so you know how to share the grief you become a better human being and you develop physical so i think you should let them play rather than push them study 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 and we all see all these things routinely so give them time half an hour wherever it is possible encourage them to go out and play whatever they want to play physical activity is absolutely essential mobiles it's a real big problem i'm not saying i'm not against mobile technology we all know it's useful but the thing is even a small child it gets engrossed it doesn't know that the beauty of physical world running outside playing the it just get engrossed in the mobile world so try to win them away or at least give them half an hour you have to do this that's very very important the next important thing is i am going to talk about is before conceiving it is very much possible to prevent many of the orthopedic problems one is this is all about chromosomes it's about consanguineous marriage i am marrying my father sister's daughter i am marrying my mother's brother's son these consanguineous marriages were very common before nowadays is much less but they have a high tendency for giving birth to birth defects in a child so if possible try to avoid the next thing uh, next one please radiation we all imagine that when we go inside an x-ray room only we get radiated that's not the truth you stand outside the x-ray room you'll get enough radiation so if you're planning for any pregnancy don't go near because in the first 6 weeks of pregnancy if you are exposed to radiation you will not know that and then at the end of the day when the child is born you will see the child doesn't have one finger one hand one limb something like that it's all disastrous and then it's a big problem throughout life so radiation and then whether we like it or not we all live near big big mobile towers and the radiation that gives is phenomenally high so we do see a lot of malignancies cancer patients living in those areas very close to that practice possible practically try to move out there may not be a practical answer but if it's possible try to move out and uh, smoking alcohol is very common nowadays in women they smoke and then they say no no when i'm pregnant i'm not smoking that doesn't work the child gets affected so all these things, alcohol smoking drugs in women many times their father says sir i smoke what happens to you not no. see they don't understand it's passive smoking so you have to educate them you see we all want a happy child when the child uh, when the newborn is there we want to see the child nice and healthy no one wants a lifelong uh, big uh, problem medical problem so you should prevent it thank you thank you dr balaji but i think there may be some questions a lot of questions not some questions a lot of questions <laughs> and uh, okay anyone can raise okay 
I think uh, you need no need no, to, but so that uh, others can also hear the question. So uh, thank you for the very interesting talk, doctor. So one question I have regarding the advice for milk. Now, whether all adults can digest milk or is that universally can be taken? Many a times there is a problem with the milk intolerance for many people. Then the only thing we suggest is please walk in the sunlight. Don't go near too many of calcium tablets. See, many we, we do see when the vitamin D is very low, we give medication for too many. See, you, when you have sudden drip pain at your age, for unexplainable reason, if you check your vitamin D, it will be very low. Many a times. And then we give medicine for two months. It will come back again. Your pain will go. A lot of people have this habit of continuing the calcium tablet thinking that's a big alternative for made milk and then they'll become healthy. No, you don't become a superhuman. You'll run to the kidney doctor with kidney stones over time. So again, if you can't take milk, please walk. Sunlight, sunlight is the best thing. And milk products are substitute for milk? We have seen that milk is the best is over time. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's again a problem. A lot of people ask me, is that toned milk? A lot of things. Something is better than nothing. But on an average, people who take two glasses of milk are very healthy. Two glasses of milk and half an hour walking in the sunshine. Just slow walk. You don't have to run. I assure you, you will be orthopedically healthy till your death. Good evening, doctor. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank you. I don't know whether you remember me. Uh, I, uh, you had, uh, you know, I had uh, this uh, frozen soldier, very serious uh, problem. Yeah. I was crying and uh, you had healed me properly. You sent me to proper physiotherapist and uh, I was coming in Corona. I was one among the very few patients who was coming to hospital daily and uh, doing the physiotherapy. Now, sir, this, uh, I'm totally all right, sir. <coughs> sir, uh, two things I want to ask, sir. My daily routine is, I'm 63 plus now. My daily routine, morning three hours I do the physical exercises. One hour I run every morning, sir. And I give credit for running without any injuries to my shoes. I wear the American shoe, that is Hoka. It has got a very good cushion, which I have not seen any other shoe. Maybe that maybe or maybe because of my weight, I maintain at 72 kg, below 72. So every morning I run one hour on the sunlight, Adia River and the thing. Then I go to gym race club. I do the lower body one day, next day upper body. Then last half an hour I do the swimming. 10 o'clock I come. So 6.45 to 10 every morning my this is the routine sir. Now I want to ask sir, this uh, <coughs> you told about swimming and uh, no running you told sir, walking, walking the best. Is there any problem so far I have not faced any problem due to running. Should I continue running or do you think it will land somewhere in trouble? Your uh, lifestyle, you've been running all along right from young age. Yes, sir. So that is why your body is taking it. Okay, sir. If those people, that age group, they start running, they'll be doing the same thing. But suppose the gentleman has been walking only, he starts running. Unless he tones up slowly, he will have problems. Footwear, you said, is absolutely true. Any soft footwear, good footing footwear is good enough. So the, what do you suggest? Should I continue running? Or absolutely, you don't need to change that. Okay, sir. Okay. You don't need to change it at all. Because okay. you've been used to that. Your body is used to I that. Every, day, every morning I run. Next thing, sir, the, uh, so walking, instead of walking, I prefer jogging. Not running, jogging. That uh, little, the speed better. I keep my heartbeat at 140 or below. That speed only I run. Now, next is the swimming. Now, which is better as compared to swimming and running? Which is better? Swimming develops core muscles. Okay. Swimming develops really the core muscles are built best developed by swimming. Mm. But both are different. Core muscles is, if suppose you someone, a lot of people can't swim. They, are, they don't have the facility to water, please, or they don't have time to. Squats is the best. Both are different sets. Swimming is for the trunk. Running is all for the limbs. So okay. you're doing the best of combination of all the three. And you're doing it daily. That's yeah, a I trick. Do daily and you, you've been doing it for a long time. So your I body is used to it. it that is the thing. Sir. In Corona also I was doing. Yes, that sir. time gym was closed, but I developed one gym in my own house. So okay. I was doing that, sir. Next, second question I wanted to ask, sir. The supplements, you told the, this is regarding milk. Again, because of this uh, vitamin D, the, this thing, I had a problem and I developed this problem. So I checked vitamin D. You had suggested me, so I checked. My vitamin D was 23 point something. So I used to go and sleep in the hot sun between 11 to 3 in this hour, uh, uh, one hour I used to sleep, bare body, I used to sleep on the roof. And uh, after the one month, uh, my vitamin D level went to 46 or something. Then again, one month after it went to 60. 
now i don't uh, expose myself like this but i go for running with the sleeveless this thing and so now my so vitamin d is maintained between uh, uh, this 80 to 90 almost like that without any supplement now sir this milk because generally people say particularly uh, sugar little i normal i am not uh, uh, got into exactly diabetic but i normal so th they say that milk uh, any milk products or dairy products is not good so th is it uh, necessary that i should take for calcium or is it sufficient that i maintain with and i am taking mushroom lot of mushroom i take don't day. go near calcium tablets uh, yeah we do see this problem of milk in diabetics and then milk intolerance and a lot of gastro issues because milk stays in the stomach for a long time they all have these issues i'm not saying no to that but if that is there then the alternative is to walk in sunlight but don't go near tablets is what i'm saying no no i don't take that's what i'm no, saying no no supplement because sir, the misconception is people think that they take calcium for a long time and then they are healthy no sir that I is what we are worried what i'm asking sir when vitamin d level i'm maintaining above 80 then is it required that i should take milk also still or not? because it, it will fluctuate it won't stay that it'll keep okay. going up and down so it'll come down it will come down over time okay so milk and sunlight is the one that maintains it okay sir. better milk. to do that thank you one issue I wanted to ask on behalf of my wife rather, she, this growth of the bone in the heel which they call very painful. Okay. What is the, she is a very active lady otherwise, but this thing in the heel. There, there are two or three things. If suppose you take 100 people coming down from the central station, uh -huh. take x-ray of all the 100, almost 80 will have the bone growth, ah, number one. None of the 80 will have symptoms, maybe 10 will have symptoms. Ah, the sir. beauty of this is a self-limiting disease. Yeah, it's it's self you don't treat it at all, you ignore it, over time you will become alright. Yeah. That is number two. The problem is how long to wait with pain. So in the morning when you get up, you can't put the foot down, so painful for 5 10 minutes, then you walk. That yeah. is the issue. So two or three things, footwear is crucial, soft footwear. Uh, Soft footwear with a quarter inch heel makes a big difference. Any, anything, anything soft with the quarter inch heel and any local heat helps. Suppose the night just before sleep just have uh, even hot water with uh, some salt, just hot water fermentation, it works. So don't go near tablets and they are all self limiting. And just a comment of experience. Uh, when Corona came, there were no more maid servants, no more servants around the house and I had a wonderful experience. I had some minor complaints of back pain. I will normally avoid taking out things from the lower uh, shelf, shelf of the... And because in Corona I had to sweep the house and clean the house, everything disappeared. This is the truth of life. Huh. The, the interesting thing is in Corona, even cardiac uh, cases are very, very less. Very less. Why? We all wonder. <laughs> a normal heart attack should come. Huh. No, we saw in the hospitals. It's not that they were scared to come to the hospital. Of course, you have a chest pain, you're going today, you'll rush to the hospital, whether it's corona or not. Because but the incident itself came down. Because of this extreme activity. Extra activity, movement is life. Yeah, that is it. Basic that's things, so movement is life. That's what I life. wanted to make as a comment. Movement is life. Because Any age, just try to move within the limits. Try to push the limits a bit. That's all you need. Just to push the limit. You say, it's painful, I'll just try thoda try corona. I'll just try a bit more. That is the trick. Sir, I want to ask something else. Yeah. I have not gone for any testing. Some say get your bone density check. Get it. I find I am working all right, so there is no need to check your vitamin D level or is it a must? No, 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 no. We don't need to check routinely. No, not at all. Not even once not, I have got checked. Not at all. You don't need to check it. If you have symptoms, then only we check. Okay. But normally they say now with the age, your bone density will come down. That's what exactly I am saying. No. That's okay. exactly what I am saying. People who are good walkers. Uh -huh. 80, 85, 90, we are operate for many other reasons, incidental fractures, bone strength is superb. They have been good walkers, that, that is the only trick. Okay, so you. walking is the answer. This place is fantastic for walking. So walking is the best. More than 35 years ago, I suffered a sports injury. I was operated for cartilage tear. I haven't had any problem since then. But suddenly last year, I found walking difficult. My left knee is suboptimal right now. So if I sit in a low slung seat, getting up itself is a problem. I do exercises and I am a regular walker. I walk for about an hour, even now. I'm 83. And uh, for many years I was a regular golfer, but because of this problem I'm not, play I'm not playing golf. What would you suggest? I have had a sur uh, uh, surgery of my right shoulder. 
the left shoulder is also giving problem <laughs> whether i should go for a surgery again see uh, surgery is nowadays we see we want quality of life yes quality of life is possible for many of these conditions you say only by surgery surgeries have advanced so much anesthesia has advanced so much you won't believe we do a knee replacement with just a nerve block here and here can you believe it if i have to replace the shoulder i just do a nerve block here and operate not even anesthesia it's changed so much so age is not a problem okay so cardi- people used to say i have cardiac stents i had two bypasses can i operate nothing happened. it's all changed so much drastically anesthesia has improved so much so if you want quality of life definitely surgery uh, is answer I, I, i'm not saying that you need surgery unless the exam no, but I, usually I, that is answer i underwent surgery because i believe in quality of life correct that's right, very much possible right, age is not at all a right thing. shoulder is now okay the range of motion there is no chronic pain the left shoulder sometimes is so bad that uh, no surgery gives you relief from the uh, pain that you are suffering that is that is the main thing it's so agonizingly painful the knee pain and all no for many people they get so depressed i am not able to walk i have to depend on my son daughter i can't go that puts them into depression so quality of life is unbelievable nowadays with surgeries so anesthesia has also improved so much so if that is a real reason then definitely age is not a criteria don't worry it's certainly possible thank you dear doctor at what time we have to take uh, milk doctor or empty stomach in the morning or ideally all the calcium supplements everything is best taken in empty stomach Ma- tablets calcium tablets when we give or milk ideally but then the problem is milk stays for four hours in the stomach if you have other gastro issues you might have your own difficulties so you need to talk to your family doctor it's not just an orthopedic part alone but ideally empty stomach another question uh, doctor somebody there is some misconception that uh, too, too much walking may, may give some warranty to the okay. knees no, see body see human body is not a, just like a machine a machine say it has 100 pa, uh, 100 mm thickness part let us say after 1 lakh cycles become 10 mm body is it's a constant regeneration so if suppose 100 cells are formed for a 5 year old child uh, 100 100 cells die 100 cells form in a 90 year old person when 100 cells die uh, only 80 form that is a natural biology walking uh, increases the turnover so definitely in a 80 you will have 85 cells coming definitely walking is undoubtedly better it will be painful i am not saying no okay if it's painful use a stick suppose i i am suppose i am 80 year old i have severe right knee pain i can't walk if i don't walk i am going to put on weight my knee pain get worse then it puts me in a cycle i use a stick on the left hand on the opposite hand so it's like three legs half the weight comes i walk okay i'm worried about the next door neighbor what he or she will think i walk go to the beach and walk but walk i walk that is the trick thank you sir i'm having knee pain sir left knee pain so how to usually the, there are few things i'll tell you that tips if you have to climb steps suppose a person has to climb step two or three floors daily don't climb straight climb face this way and climb or face this way and climb i don't know if you have a steps i can demonstrate actually don't climb straight okay. just turn slightly and climb like that this way or this way okay. that reduces the strain but i am a regular walker but uh, still uh, after the walk when i go home my and many a times a knee pain sir. the knee is never the culprit Here. culprit is then the back the lower back people will not have low back pain at all they will have knee pain so the lot of things once a doctor examines you yeah. he will easily I'm give it an answer shooting pains are here that's what Very so many a time need not be in the knee at all unless someone examines you clinically see the beauty of medicine is when someone comes to opd you listen to them you make 45% of diagnosis you examine them in the next 5 minutes 90% of diagnosis done. only 10% is all this fancy mri ct scan costly tests of 80000 90000 1 lakh but when you go the reverse many a time we see an mri which is show massive big problem patient may not have a problem at all but if you see that mri that any doctor will say it needs surgery you don't realize but you see the patient he doesn't need that surgery at all it's so clinical and investigative need not match at all 
so just once you, someone examines you they'll be able to give you the right answer thank you easiest sir. thing thank you sir two common problems for gout red meat mutton and alcohol if someone takes red meat and alcohol we tell them to stop no, if you no no if you don't we, take no, no wait wait in lot of vegetarians also you get this gout issue if you see the list of what not to eat you can never eat anything which is not practicable so in that case what we do is we give there are two or three levels of medicine for gout we know it is gout only uric acid the person doesn't have any kidney issues give a basic level of medicine for a month check the uric acid at the most two to three months it settles down if it settles down then there are higher medicines and then again gout gets all right after some time but to come back again it's something to do the diet oh, there was very interesting because i suffered it about a week back very interesting thing happened all of a sudden i had pain in my ankle i thought i twisted it with a regular walking so it became fairly severe so i went to the orthopedist and said now we we'll take an x ray the x ray revealed a hairline fracture so i said hairline fracture in way suggested that we need not go for a shoe or we can put a gray uh, bandage and take rest for two weeks or three weeks but i was myself in a small unnecessary studies doing here and there i suggested him maybe it's normally yeah. it gets it happens only here great to no it can happen anywhere in the body in any joint so i suggested that to him some red for the lowering and we check the uric acid 7.2 so it's only on the border in two days it is okay no no see people who are taking heart medications who have kidney issues they also have a raised uric acid on and off so that medications ups and downs it fluctuates if you see many of the cardiologists they give prescription they'll be a standard low dose medicine for uric acid it doesn't mean that they have a uric gout problem but it is more of a preventive it is like a blood thinner cardiologist gives many times a blood thinner so that you don't develop a stroke you don't uh, have a paralysis so something so it uh, reacts it reacts with them it changes sorry well lot of lot of medicines they keep changing they keeps coming so that's it any other questions i uh, kindly use the mic because the session is being recorded so without the mic your voice is not going down good sir sir just i'll take a very brief question sir so the walking on the sea shore uh, i i realize 6 km going 3 and 3 come back that's uh, from lighthouse to napier bridge and the so uh, how do you suggest the walking on the sea shore and walking on the road which is less harmful miss which can cause less damage of the thing walking on the road plain surface is better acha not because the uneven surface it puts lot of strain on the knee cap the petal okay, okay. so over time it wears out okay okay we do see that in big dry, big time runners marathon runners okay. they all have this problem okay so we thought the question of the uh, that thing no, is the, not there. they okay, okay. okay. So. So some of super athletes yes sir while they are performing it is good but later on yes, a ek ek aur once more next sir uh, this my one uh, personal problem i have the muscle tightness sir all muscles of the body i can't bend much it's on the this and this cause a lot of sports injuries to me many time i suffered injury because of muscle tightness now the the reason was that sir i'll tell you very simple what happened in childhood uh, we used to graze cattle in the desert and we used to go in the morning and evening we'll come back in the temperature 45 47 48 like that so and we drink water at home again evening only you take the water so there's no water in between the dehydration now doctor said dehydration has caused this but now what is the remedy how to nobody is able to suggest any remedy swimming stretching exercises only two things if there is no inflammatory disease they will do their basic test to know that there are no inflammatory issues there are some lot of disease a group of disease mm-hmm. the way you say very unlikely in that case stretching exercises and uh, okay. swimming is the answer okay sir that's the best way okay sir last sir the milk you told sir some people have the habit of uh, drinking milk in the night when they go to bed uh, they say they drink is it uh, i see the problem is uh, it's more of a gastro issue you drink milk it stays for 4 hours you sleep you don't wait for 4 hours to sleep you always sleep at the most one half an hour one hour one hour two and a half so the milk stays and then you have reflex acidity all that issues comes so milk in the morning is ideal So regarding your super athletes see, the basic thing is the athlete's life is hardly 4 5 years of sports so they will overuse it 
and then we see the rest of their life what they suffer with so that is not normal for a common person see we are talking of a common man prevention these things are the basic things which will make you fit and be happy okay i think uh, you have a question uh, dr balaji uh, thank you very much for acceding to my request and uh, coming Pleasure, over sir. and then giving a beautiful talk by the way dr balaji operated my mother about 4 years ago Uh, both the knee replaced both the knees were replaced by him and she was able to walk but that she didn't walk afterwards caused uh, degeneration and then she is not able to walk now thank you very much balaji sir thank you okay one last question from me sir <laughs> normally when uh, you start getting this sounds no the cracking sounds clicking in the normal. joints clicking is, is normal don't bother it's just a chotak chotak okay that nitrogen just oh. gets released absolutely normal oh, okay so that's not a symptom of not anything to get to yourself tested for yeah everywhere everywhere oh okay that's a sigh of relief <laughs> and uh, with this i think if there are no more questions uh, i would like to thank, thank dr you. balaji thank uh, very heartfelt gratitude for coming here sharing uh, his experience and wisdom especially in this uh, on this subject we uh, you know i think everyone at some point of time gets affected or will get get affected and not only that he has told us how to prevent that that is the most important thing and as a token of our appreciation on behalf of uh, the theosophical society we would like to present you this small booklet adyar which has the history of this place is of this campus how the founders came here found this place and they decided to make this their home and since 1882 and it is still flourishing and hope you would uh, like to read it and thank you so much dr balaji on behalf of all our guests and theosophical society and i would like to thank all the delegates who came here to attend this wonderful session have a great week ahead thank you thank you sir also yeah we will be having this uh, annual day program of our adya theosophical academy in the theater so i think many of us may be going there if anyone wants to attend that can visit that also from right from here thank you so much